Godzilla is possibly the most iconic fictional movie monster in all of film history, with its first live-action screenplay debut in the movie Gijora in 1954. The fictional monster was created by Toho Movie Studios in Japan by the movie producer Tomoyuki Tanaka. Interestingly, Godzilla was created as a metaphor to symbolize the nuclear devastation that occurred in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which ended at the Second World War in 1945. This inspired Tomoyuki to give the monster radiation scar and burns, along with its famous nuclear breath. Of course, Godzilla was not the only terrifying monster in the series, so multiple new creatures have been filmed to either fight alongside the monster or attempt to fight against him. The enemy monsters include, listed slowly, Space Godzilla, Batra, King Kong, the Mutos, Rodon, Hedorah, King Caesar, and Weirus. Destroya, Gion, Mothra, Bealante, Mecha Godzilla, and his arch nemesis, King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah, easily Godzilla's most powerful enemy, possesses abilities such as flight, energy draining breath, bite, oh my, and his famous gravity beams that can be fired from each of his three heads. Ghidorah, excluding Godzilla himself, is the only creature to survive throughout all four generations of the Godzilla series. Then there is the colossal moth called Mothra, who first appeared in the 1961 movie Mothra and went down in the Godzilla franchise, a reoccurring character that is now one of the most famous characters affiliated with Godzilla. Godzilla himself first appeared in the 1954 film Gyora, produced and released in Japan, then two years later released in the U.S. with moderate success. But when released in America, the, in order to shorten the running time and add an American perspective, actor Raymond Burr was shot an American journalist character, reporting on the attacks. The edits made by a Hollywood film company, Transworld, ended up adding 20 minutes to the film but subtracting 40 minutes from the original format. The original suit that was used in Gyora was far from perfect. The first suit weighed in at 200 pounds, far too heavy for the actors to operate. It was slimmed down to a lighter but still bulky 50 pounds. During filming, the actors were given another challenge to surpass, the boiling heat. Temperatures reach up to 150 during indoor shots alone and surpass 200 when outdoors. The operators were under so much stress in the suit that they had to empty out an entire cup of sweat in the costume after each take. Dang. This was partially due to the poor materials used at the time. Unlike today's modern Hollywood, where movie makers have access to nearly every material possible to make a costume out of, the early Toho Studios had simply bamboo sticks, chicken wire, and small metal cores to try and create the highly detailed suits you see in Kijora and the following films. じゃあ、汗が。温度計入れてみたら the final and most memorable part of Godzilla is his roar. Originally, the sound team at Toho Studios attempted to use an animal's call or a roar to use for the monster, but none really fit. So after some experimentation and multiple failures, the team managed to create a lifelike roar from covering a leather glove in dancing resin and rubbing the glove across a double-stringed bass. <coughs> 
They then took the sound and slowed it down to create a lower pitched resonating sound that is known today to be the voice of the king of monsters.